Now before we get into file management systems, I wanted to take a brief moment just to show you guys the difference between creating folders and catalogs within Lightroom versus creating the folders in the operating system and then creating the catalog inside of Lightroom. And the easiest way to do this is just to show you guys exactly how it works. So what I'm going to do in Lightroom is I'm just going to go to a new catalog and we're going to create this on the desktop just so it's easy to find and we have uh, a place to go and look. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this, uh, let's see, catalog example one. Okay, and what we're doing here is we're having Lightroom create the folder where the catalog is going to go. So if I hit save right now, it's going to create a new catalog and it's going to drop it directly into this folder, catalog example one. It's also going to name the file catalog example one because that was the name of the folder that we selected. So if I go back to my computer and I go to the desktop, we're going to see catalog example one is right here and there is the Lightroom catalog directly inside of this folder. Now, Conversely, if I go into my uh, Windows Explorer or into your uh, Finder window and we create the folder from here. So let's create another folder. We're going to say catalog example two. And then I go into Lightroom at this point and I say new catalog and I want to place it inside of catalog example two. Now, if I name this catalog example two, you're going to see that it's not actually going to work. It's going to pop me right into this folder right here. So watch save it just jumps me right into this folder because that folder is already created now from here I need to create another folder so what I would do at this point is I would just name it catalog and what this is going to do is going to create a folder that's going to be just the catalog file and it's going to name the actual catalog catalog and then it's going to place everything inside of there so let's take a look at these two and let's see how they kind of differ so I'm going to create a new window and move it over here to the left side and here's catalog example one and then here's catalog example two and let's compare. So catalog example one, where we created in Lightroom, it created a catalog that was actually named the folder name since we created it directly in Lightroom. The previews folder is right inside of that root folder, catalog example one. Now catalog example two, where we created the first folder inside of Windows, makes it so that basically Lightroom, we have to create another folder inside of this catalog, uh, and then we would basically name it appropriately. So we called it catalog. It places the Lightroom catalog and all the previews inside of this folder, within this main folder. Now, there's not really a wrong way. You guys can choose which one you like. I'm typically using this system on the right right here where I create the root folder inside of Windows or inside of uh, OS X, and then I go into Lightroom and create the catalog uh, file. The reason why is I like to have it, it look very clean, basically. If you notice, when we are basically adding additional folders to this, uh, so like let's say we're adding now our original images, and now we're adding our print images. And we're going to go over this in the next video when we cover the, uh, the actual file system that we're going to use. So if I say print sized and so on, we have additional files here that it just kind of looks a little bit messy to me. I'm a little bit kind of anal when it comes to this kind of stuff with organization and stuff. So I'm not a big fan of that look. I like to have all my catalog stuff, including the previews, uh, the LR cat file, and these are actually temporary files for when we have Lightroom opened. I like all of that to be nicely tucked away inside of this file inside. Now, you might want to name the catalog something that's a little bit more descriptive other than just catalog uh, because when we open this actual catalog, it's just going to say at the top catalog and that's not very descriptive. So maybe you want to name it whatever you guys prefer, whether it's uh, after the client or whether it's personal photos or whatever you guys want. But that's kind of the system that I, I would recommend and that's the one that we're actually going to use. So hopefully at this point you guys kind of understand the difference between creating the actual root folder within Lightroom versus creating it in the operating system and then creating the catalog inside of Lightroom. All right, let's move on to the next video.